hello guys welcome back to gaming flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix warhammer rogue trader is having crashing issue it is not launching won't launch freezing structuring lagging low fps drop stuck all loading screen and even black screen so let's check it out of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about what we need to do is we just need to do a simple restart for this we just need to go over here in the start icon Click on this particular power icon and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved. This is the first and foremost step which can be done. Next one is all about we have to go for the next one that we have to launch the game from the installation folder. For this we just need to go over here in the game, right click, we have to go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. That will redirect you to the installation folder and if you check at the top there is this PC, local disk C, program for x86, steam, steam amps, common, warhammer, 14,000 rogue trader. Now from here we just need to launch the game. So just try launch the game and that is what we have to do. So instead of launching the game from steam, we have to launch the game from the installation folder which worked for many users you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to run the game as an administrator. So hence within the installation folder we can be done both the steps that is running the game as administrator and clicking on or running the game in the compatibility mode. For just go over here in the game select the application right click we have to go to show more options and go to the properties. Go for compatibility click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok this is what we have to do. Next one, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode, go for show more option, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode, we have to set this to windows 7 and you have to go for apply and go for ok, if windows 7 is not working, set this to windows 8, go for apply and go for ok and once it is done, we just need to close everything and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to make sure the uh, languages sorry not the language we have to make sure the date time and region is correct for this we just need to go over here in the search navigate to settings go for windows update over here sorry not windows update go for time and language go for date and time make sure all these three three, uh, three things are turned on which is very important now go back and navigate to the language and region make sure that you have selected the country according to geography and once it has been done just close everything and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab from the keyboard. So just launch the game, press alt and tab from the keyboard and that's what we have to do. And even if it's still it's not working after clicking on the play button, if the alt and tab is not working, let's move to the next one. That is all about we have to allow the game to window security. For this reason we have to go over here in the search, search for control panel, just search for the control panel, open this one. Now from here navigate to system and security, go for windows defender firewall, go for allow and app or feature through windows defender firewall. Now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to W, hence it's because it start with uh, warhammer it start with W. So just keep scrolling down and as you can see the game is already added which is warhammer 14,000 rogue trader is already added. Make sure this is market and this is market as well. This is what we have to do. And once you mark both these things and if you're still imagine the game is not here. If that is the case we have to add the game by default. So just click on the change setting go for allow another app. Go for browse and navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam over here, navigate to steam amps, now from here go to common, now from here we have to navigate to warhammer, now keep scrolling down and navigate to warhammer rock trader, select this one and go for open and we have to go for add. So I'm getting the error because the exception is already added. Make sure the private and public is checked. If the game is not here, this is how we can add it by default. And once after this is added, just try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved. Still, if you're having, we can move to the next one that we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with multiple monitors. We might be connected with additional joystick, which is one of the reason why we are having the issue. So what we need to do is we just need to unplug everything. After everything is unplugged, try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, 
go for system configuration search for system configuration now click on this one now from here go to the services and go for uh, disable all over here go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok and you have to go for restart but here we are in the middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without restart once afterwards try launch the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click go to the properties navigate to the inst uh, over here make sure if this is enabled the steam overlay while in game this should be turned off try launch the game if that is not working we have to move to the next one that we are trying to give a command in the launch option that is dx11 is the first command so try giving the command dx11 if dx11 is not working try with giving the command dx12 so either the dx11 will be working or we have to try with dx12 and that will be working fine so any one of the things has to be worked so it this did work it for many users in my knowledge so once if it's still it's there you can just close everything and we have to try launch the game or you can try uh, continue playing the game afterwards if you're still having the trouble don't get panicked we have few more steps can be done that is one among this we have to close all the overlay application so we just need to go over here in the game right click we have to navigate to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crash in issue for example discord reva tuner msi afterburner all these come to this category so just remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to search for graphics settings like this now open this one and we have to navigate to we need to add the game over here so just click on the browse navigate to the installation folder that is this pc local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we just need to navigate to uh, the war hammer we just need to navigate to the war hammer now from here we have to select this one and go for add once the game is added just click on the option make sure this is high performance and go for save once everything is saved close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search and navigate to view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go to the settings once again advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and you have selected the local disk which is c should be selected go for custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here and we need to go to the calculator so just type your ram so the type ram of my computer is 32 gb and we have to multiply with the constant value for everyone that is 1024 now multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 14 and 152 that is copy this value and we have to paste it next one that is maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once the value is being set everything is done just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but we have to update the windows so just go over here and sorry go over here and navigate to settings make sure the windows is up to date and once the windows are done we just need to close everything and once it has been done we just need to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not still if you are having the trouble the next one we need to try updating the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this so for both nvidia as well as to the amd users so nvidia users has to go over here and you have to select everything like the product type should be selected product series should be selected product should be selected operating system everything should be selected and go for start search we'll be getting this version the available versions of graphics card so the 546.29 is the latest version which you can download and install restart and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go and select everything and go for submit if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 download this one and try installing next one we have to try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus we just need to go over here and click on the x64 if the system is based on x64 and if the system is based on x86 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game 
so even tried with everything and if you're still having the trouble we just need to do is we just need to uninstall the game we have to reinstalling it back so just go over here go to the manage uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you have to install it back on not on the same local disk from which you install you have to try a new local disk even tried with this one if you're still having the trouble i would like to make you notice one more step which is quite important that we have to verify integrity of game file so just go over here in the game right click we have to go to the properties go for installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file which is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so just wait this to reach 100 percentage and i'll be showing you what you have to do next So once everything is done, just close this and we have to try launch the game. So these possible workarounds can be done. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.